So I'm, I'm personally a believer of posting at least once a day. I think it's important to be top of mind. When it comes to video content, I think it should be there at least once a week. So whether you're a LinkedIn person, you're a TikTok person, you're a Facebook person, it's your video content that's going to get the most engagement and the most reach. So for those of you who are not even playing in this field yet, just try, start. Once a week is a good, good approach. And it doesn't have to be a professional video. It doesn't have to be polished. Like my feed is very varied. It's mm. very varied between I have one polished video a week which is professionally shot and edited. I have possibly, I happen to be in the video field, so I have possibly other videos that pop up, but they aren't always as polished. You know, there may be things that I've done on my phone. I'll have some photos that I've taken and I'll have some articles that I've shared. So it's very mixed uh, content. But the main thing is I always come back to that original question. What do I want to be known for? My name is Ahmed Khalid and I am the host of this Unleashed podcast. We speak mainly around personal development and entrepreneurship. Our mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential. And this is by interviewing CEOs, entrepreneurs, and coaches physically in Dubai to extract their wisdom and change your life. Now you can enjoy the episode. Reem, how can we grow our personal brand on social media? Honestly, I think the strategy should differ from person to person. I think you need to look at where your strengths are and that's what you need to double down on. I'm a big fan of people like Gary Vaynerchuk and mm. they produce, I mean, he produces so much content. It's crazy, but he also has a team. He has a team behind him churning out all of this content. So I genuinely believe you should look at what you can do on a consistent basis. What is it? It doesn't matter how big or how small, but you can do it consistently because it's the consistency that helps you grow. So find that thing. If it means you can post one a day, it means you can do one video once a month, whatever that formula is, but can you do it consistently? And that's where you should start. Look at what that action is for you. So uh, if I'm talking about maybe the frequency, what is the optimal way based on your experience to put it uh, out to content in order to have this brand building in the people's mind? Uh, what's the frequency? Maybe one time per week, two times? and diversified content, what do you think about this? So I think it's really important to stay top of mind and mm -hmm. also don't assume that people are watching or seeing all of your content. They're not, right? Because the way algorithms work and also people just being on the platform at different times, just because you might feel like, oh, I'm posting too much. No, your audience is not necessarily consuming it at the same rate. So I'm, I'm personally a believer of posting at least once a day. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to be top of mind. When it comes to video content, I think it should be there at least once a week. Once a week is a minimum because that's how people video is the is sorry, video is the format that is being consumed and optimized the most regardless of which platform you're on. So whether you're a LinkedIn person, you're a TikTok person, you're a Facebook person, it's your video content that's going to get the most engagement and the most reach. So for those of you who are not even playing in this field yet, just try start once a week is a good good approach and it doesn't have to be a professional video it could be something that you do casually on your phone it could be something that's just a bit more natural or live live is a great formula because honestly you know people will forgive a lot of things <laughs> when you're live you know but just start with at least one video a week that's the optimum in my opinion and posting once per day and i would say it's a variety it doesn't all have to be polished like my feed is very varied it's mm. very varied between i have one polished video a week which is professionally shot and edited. I have possibly, I happen to be in the video field, so I have possibly <laughs> other videos that pop up, but they aren't always as polished. You know, there may be things that I've done on my phone. I'll have some photos that I've taken mm -hmm. and I'll have some articles that I've shared. So it's very mixed uh, content. But the main thing is I always come back to that original question. What do I want to be known for? And does my content align with that? Am I posting content that will still position me the way that I want to be positioned and build my personal brand? And if it doesn't, then maybe it's not the right thing to post. So everything that's out there is definitely a reflection of who I am and where I want to be positioned. Mm. So what is the best platforms in terms of my content strategy? Because I see many people, they just focus on one platform and try to grow in that platform. Let's say LinkedIn, let's say TikTok, YouTube. Do you believe on the compound growth of uh, platforms, if I can diversify it? 
I definitely do. However, I also think you need to look at where your audience is. Mm -hmm. So for every business, it's different. For every individual, it's different. If you're a mom trying to grow a lifestyle business, maybe you need to double down on Facebook because honestly, that's where all the moms are, Mm -hmm. you know? But if you are a a business B2B player, then LinkedIn is where you're going to have the most connections and that's where you need to double down. So I think everyone needs to make that decision based on who they're trying to reach and where their audience is and double down on that specific platform. If you're able to be consistent in more than one place, great. Consistency is still the name of the game. So I'm a believer of, like in my case, it's LinkedIn. I'm highly consistent on my LinkedIn. Instagram, I'm pretty consistent. Am I capable right now of being consistent on TikTok? No. Therefore, at this moment in time, I would rather not play in that field. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at where you can allocate your time, where can you be consistent, and where is your audience above everything. I'm just gonna share a really quick story. Mm -hmm. Um, We worked with this interior designer for years, and uh, she said to me, Reem, my videos aren't working. Like nobody, nobody (laughs) is messaging me, nobody. And I'm like, well, hang on, let's analyze this. Where are you posting your videos? She said, I'm posting them on Instagram, okay. Who is your ideal customer? Well, I work with these CEOs of companies. Uh, okay, who are they? How old are they? Well, they're usually 50 and above, and you know, they, they, you know, they're all on LinkedIn. Hang on, do any of them have Instagram accounts? No, no, they're, they're not on Instagram. So how can you possibly expect you know, to get results if you're not posting where your audience is? For her, it was futile having an Instagram strategy when her core audience is on LinkedIn. So that's why I'm saying what's right for you may not be right for me Mm -hmm. and vice versa. You need to look at your own objective. Where is that audience and plan accordingly? It's amazing insights, definitely. So if um, the last thing that I we need to leave it with our audience, if someone has the intention to build a personal brand and wants to take this action, but somehow he or she is stuck, to take that action, what will be the last advice that you can give it to them to take this baby step to build their personal brand on social media? I mean, there's so much I can say about this, but (laughs) I would suggest find someone's personal brand that you like, find someone's shoes or someone who's already been on that journey and reach out to them because they would have already struggled and suffered and done all the steps that you're trying to take right now. And you'd be surprised what learning from someone else can help in terms of your own journey. So I'd say that's a key one, but above all, take action. Mm -hmm. Every small piece of action counts. It doesn't, you may think about it, fantasize about it, but if you don't take that first step, it will never change. So you need to take that step one. What does step one look like? Step one might simply be, let me look at the other pages that are out there. Step two might be, what do I wanna be known for? Answer that question. Step three, what kind of content resonates with me in this space? Step four, what am I able to do on a consistent basis? Step five, find the thing you're comfortable with. You know, you don't have to jump in front of a camera straight away. I encourage you to do that, but you don't have to do it straight away. But what is that first step for you? What does it look like? And just do it. Reem, thank you so much for coming here today. And as I told you, maybe in in the break, uh, you have to write a book really with these great insights and values because I believe many people, they are stuck in sh- such things and they want just a push or just a framework to give it to them. And uh, I wish you all the best. And I believe that you will be in somewhere else after um, uh, just a short period. So keep inspiring us, keep impacting people's life. Really, thank you. Thank you so much, Ahmed. I really appreciate it. And congratulations on everything that you're building with this podcast. And I look forward to hearing many, many more voices and seeing how you help them get visible. Thank you so much. Unleash is the bridge between my purpose and my mission. And my mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential.